for people who have never owned dogs and are thinking of doing so. Or perhaps you are entertaining that notion of getting a puppy as a gift for someone. Stop right there and watch this video. Because you have no idea about the drastic lifestyle change you getting yourself, or someone else, into. Many newbies have allowed this love at first sight sentiment to cloud their judgment and brush aside concerns about the heavy responsibilities they'd be taking on. To their credit, there are countless dog owners out there who despite being unprepared have adapted to the new lifestyle to become loving and responsible pet parents. On the other hand, there are heartbreaking casualties, like homeless dogs whose ex-owners felt they were a burden or those that became victims of neglect and even abuse at the hands of owners who ignored their emotional and physical welfare. So for the good of the dog that you are planning to adopt, and yourself, be prepared. With 2020 hindsight, here are 10 things I wish someone had told me before adopting a dog. If you are thinking of surprising your significant other, or a loved one with a puppy, please don't. Because you might rue the day if it does not work out. A cute puppy is not a toy with an on-off switch that you can put away at will. Recipients of the gift after a few days of euphoria, may find that they don't connect with the puppy and perhaps not ready as well to commit to being a pet parent. What happens then? In the end, you may be the one who's going to end up holding the fur ball and be responsible for its care. If a puppy is to be a gift for someone, then it's better to get the person's consent and also involvement in the selection process. Just no surprises. However, do make sure both of you are aware of what to expect about dog ownership before picking one. If you care for your dog, be prepared to fork out money on a regular basis. A bulk of what you will be spending will go into food. My advice? Never scrimp on dog food. While cheap food, which tends to be of poor quality, can save you money. They will hit your wallet hard when you have to pay for steep veterinary medical bills down the road, after your dog suffers poor health caused by a poor diet. On the other hand, good quality food, while costing more, will be beneficial to your dog in the long run. Visits to the vet will be another major expense, not just for annual vaccinations and routine checkups, but for dealing with the facts of a dog's life from time to time, such as allergies, skin infections, tummy issues, and so on. Another regular expense is grooming. For hygiene, dogs require maintenance like bathing, combing of fur, and trimming of nails. These can either be outsourced to a professional pet groomer, or you can do them yourself which means making trips to the pet shop to buy shampoo, which should be veterinary recommended, as well as other grooming accessories like nail clippers, ear drops, etc. We haven't even talked about startup costs like microchipping, getting a new bed, food and drink bowls, dog leash and so on. The point I'm trying to make is that the potential dog owner must be prepared to make a serious financial commitment. Dogs need daily physical exercise, and a simple exercise is walking. They need at least 30 minutes of brisk walking every day which will help boost their immune function and improve cardiovascular health. While physical exercise is necessary, Exercising your dog's mind is just as important. Dogs that lack mental stimulation will get bored and this results in chewing on items like shoes and furniture, as well as excessive barking and digging up the yard. In fact, you don't need to spend much time on mental stimulation. Just 15 to 20 minutes of brain games will be enough to tire him out and make him fall asleep. Remember this adage well, a tired dog is a happy dog. If you want some ideas on simple brain games, watch the video. 8 Brain Games for Your Dog at Home Dogs tend not to handle solitude very well. Being alone quickly leads to boredom and behavioral issues like excessive barking, which can result in complaints from neighbors. Also, your dog will have separation anxiety, 
more intense than you realize. Because he doesn't know when, or even if you're ever coming back. If you do have to leave him at home to go to work or elsewhere, be sure that he has some activities, such as interactive toys to keep him busy, and also someone to check in on him from time to time. For the sake of your dog's happiness, try to minimize your time away and maximize time together. However, if this is not possible, then consider pets like aquarium fishes. Seriously. This ties in with the previous point. Having a dog is very similar to having a kid. He is fully dependent on you. Did you get that? Your dog is 100% relying on you because you are his life. With a dog in your life, essential trips and the occasional hanging out with buddies require planning in advance. Dogs need a predictable daily schedule of eat, potty, play, sleep and repeat. You have to work around that schedule from now on. Spontaneity is going to be tough when you have someone 100% dependent on you. Being fully committed to the emotional well-being of your dog means spending a lot of time with him. That means kissing goodbye to weekend getaways. If you have to do essential traveling, then be prepared to engage a pet sitter. Do try at all costs to avoid putting your dog in a pet hotel, as it can be emotionally cruel to remove him from his home and put him in an alien and stressful environment. You may break your dog's heart to pieces, and he may not survive it. If you have arachnophobia, then ticks are something you have to deal with. Your dog may pick these disease-carrying bloodsuckers, including fleas from breeding grounds like dog parks and bring them home, where they will crawl into crevices in walls and furniture. At times you may even find one crawling on your body. If you find a tick on your dog, use a pair of tweezers to pull it out. Kill it and also clean the infected bite with rubbing alcohol. Once the tick is dead you can flush it down the toilet. While there are tick prevention treatments that can be purchased at pet shops, do consult your vet first before administering any medication to your dog. Dogs have a natural shedding pattern and you need to be accustomed to it. They shed at least once a year and during those periods be prepared to find dog hair everywhere, especially on your clothes shoes, couch and even on your food. If this is going to be a problem, then having a dog is not an option. Otherwise, you can invest in an automatic vacuum cleaner to help clean dog hair from the floors and sofa. Just like people, dogs tend to have distinct and unique personalities. While a dog's personality traits are completely individual, Many traits are predictable based on the breed. Some breeds are suitable for introverts, and some are great for extroverts. It's important to research these differences before you get a dog. For example, huskies, the famous sled dogs are very energetic, boisterous and opinionated. If you are someone who's inclined to peace and quiet, then I'm afraid huskies will be a very poor fit. Because of a lack of prior knowledge about breed personalities, many dog owners find they can't connect well with their dogs. This will often lead to neglect, and in some cases abandonment. If you plan to have children one day, raising a dog can be good training. Your patience will certainly be tested, especially during the early stage when the puppy urinates or poops on the carpet, choose up your pair of shoes and so on. Such things are bound to happen. Even with positive reinforcement to draw your dog away from these habits, you still need to give it time. So until you get there, always practice patience, because it will result in a trustful and loving relationship with your dog. The sad reality is that the lifespan of your dog who will end up not only as a bona fide family member but also as one of your most loyal and loving companions, is only 10 to 15 years. Let that sink in. This is one of the most heartbreaking truths about keeping a dog. When you understand this, 
then hopefully what I've shared will take on greater significance. Cherish every day with your dogs. In conclusion, dog ownership takes work and a whole lot of love. If you decide to adopt with your eyes wide open and do this right, it will be one of the best decisions you have made. This is when all the rewards of canine companionship, the loyalty, the fun, the unconditional love and all will start giving. I wish you many happy memories as you embark on this new journey. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you have enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. You can look forward to new content weekly.